Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This, of course, is another anime reaction video. Today, we're getting back into some Noragami Aragato. Finally, Nar <laughs> we're getting back to a uh, actual Aragato. We're starting with episode uh, Wait. Seven, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, seven. Because it was after episode six where we go and watch the OVAs, which should have been... <laughs> which were apparently aired before season two even happened, despite them being, you know... <laughs> adapting things that you should only know about after the halfway point of season two and, and un unrelated but i uh just recently personally in my own personal free time watched squid game which was a uh, it's kind of a crazy show <laughs> it would have been perfect timing if i was watching arakawa next because that's almost a pure comedy so it really helped me get my mind off of it now this is going to be this episode is presumably going to be set up for the next uh next half of the season so i don't imagine anything too uh <laughs> uh what's the word for it upsetting will be happening in this uh as upsetting as a uh, squid game was good show good show i'm kind of lukewarm on the ending like the ending few scenes but overall great show interested to see where season two is but i hope they don't uh milk it and make it terrible <laughs> uh but yeah i mean the last few episodes of noragami have been wrapping up the conflict, getting some closure on the uh, the conflict between Yato and Bishamon, which is really cool. Bishamon's become one of my favorite, my my favoriteest characters. One of my, what's the, what am I, I'm trying to say the, the thing. <laughs> one of my favoriteest characters in the series. We'll say, we'll go with that word. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes next. Because we've seen a lot of the characters from the OP that we hadn't seen before through this, this like Bishamon arc. But then we have, we have some more characters. We have another group of uh, a different group of gods that may or may not have a beef with Yato, I'm not really sure, but they were, we were, Yato was seen in the opening fighting dude in like the trench coat with like the, uh, one of his, I guess, regalia is like one of the, it's kind of like, from what I remember, no, wait, no, it's, it's, hand, it's his hand and it's like glowing, you know what, whatever, whatever, it's not important, kind of is, but it's, but we're going to say it's not. Because we're going to get started with episode 7 of Noragami Aragato. As always, links down in the description below, which will take you to the full length uncut reaction on either Pix Pixel Drain or Bit Shoot. Man, that was terrible. Uh, so go ahead, follow one of those links, go watch the reaction, and then you can come back to YouTube for the discussion. So, without further ado, let's get started. Episode 7 of Noragami Aragato. But uh, this explains things a little bit more about why they're going to be in conflict. He's um the creator of the masks. I don't want to say he definitively is because the show hasn't said out right we just know that he is with the masked people and that's probably how uh kugaha got through as anura and uh is now <laughs> invaded and you know caught close with bishamon that uh this explains a lot <laughs> and this is definitely not something i was expecting i should have seen it coming i should have seen it coming because they were setting up i just realized that i've been talking for so long that i should just like switch this over to the, to the you know, whatever i've been <sighs> It makes more sense. It makes it make things make more sense now. Because holy shit. Oh boy. This is this is why I want there to be a war arc. Because there's two there's gonna be two potentially three sides of this whole conflict. And it's just gonna be so interesting to see that I should I should have seen it coming. Because earlier in the episode they were having a, a council meeting discussing how they need to take down the masks and how some one of them, like Kugaha, for example, managed to slip through and get close to Bishamon. That's when I should have started thinking that there's a rat. There's a mole of some kind, you know, that's fucking things up. But I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I, I, I'm a... Uh, I missed it. And I feel like that was, that was a majority of this episode. It was just, like, setting things up. And I'm so glad that was happening. But the second half of the episode with uh, Yato and uh, Yuki... I, I love I love how they're, they're not... They're, uh, they're, the, the writers of the, the manga and the anime have not chosen to make Yuki and Yato, you know, static. You know, you could have, after, like, season one, and maybe even part of season two, just like, alright, that's it for their character development, we're gonna go focus on other characters while they're just kind of, like, the vehicle that drives things. But no, we're still getting moments uh, where we learn more and more about Yato's past and who he is and why he is that way. And we're getting more development of Yuki as a person, you know, his decision to forego money for the sake of protecting Yato in his own way, in his own special, unique way, that was amazing. And just, like, the evolution of Yato and Yuki's relationship has just been, like, a, a joy to watch throughout the series. I'm so glad we're keeping up with it. 
Uh, Hiori, of course, super, super nice. One of the nicest things <laughs> Hiori has ever done, ever. Hiori is a very sweet girl. Uh, Yuki is a good boy, pretend, maybe even the best boy. And Hiori is also a good, a good girl, maybe even the best girl. Very tough decision because uh, Bishamon also exists, and Bishamon has been amazing, <laughs> especially uh, her, her arc earlier in the season. It was, it was so cool. Um. Oh, and that not even not even that's not even mentioning that outfit she was wearing when she was uh, at the uh, colloquy. I believe it was called. I don't know how that's. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that. <laughs> It's sort of like military style uniform with like the hat and her tied up hair and like the the cloak that she has on without putting her arm through the sleeves and shit. Fuck. And all the fur too is nice. Did she have like? Oh, she didn't. I thought she had like a, a cane or a walking stick or something. Not because of like injuries or something, but just like for aesthetic reasons, because <laughs> that would have really uh driven at home kind of. But it looks like she has like really high boots as well. Like they go up to her like knee which is nice and the fur too all right i'm spending way too long talking about how much i like that outfit on bishamon because uh because i know she's probably not gonna wear it very often that was just like a ceremonial thing that she wore for a meeting with uh some of the like upper echelon of gods i assume uh <sighs> usually nothing good happens in like an anime or something where like there's a hierarchy and like that you're shown a meeting of like a certain character having to stand before this huge group of like higher ups and you can't even tell like the specific identities of them and they're like you know reprimanding them for something they did that that doesn't bode well for um the future of that series because that that probably means that that group that hierarchy uh, it's corrupt or evil or something like that or they're like unfair or some shit that's usually how it goes um <laughs> So that's, that's going to be something to keep a, an eye out for going forward uh, in this series. But, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say about this episode. Great episode. Good to be back with Noragami Arigato. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and then in case you miss a single upload in the future. Thank you for watching. Peace.